Hello and welcome back to uh, Moon Ring. So I've actually changed my mind completely. I'm going to use this devotional tier. I'm pretty sure that this does not commit me to the god because I did do this in my previous playthrough and I don't, I, I'm pretty sure I had to use the, the tier in order to even like advance. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this at strength for now. Um, you have enough devotion to gain a gift. Go to the god's menu or press G. So that unlocks the god's menu. And you'll notice we have uh, one devotional tier on our the great forest wolf. So each gift adds to strength, allowing use of more brutal weapons. Gifts focus on battle and the joys of the hunt. So now we can, if we want, devote ourselves to the wolf uh, if we really wanted to. But there's not really like there's a reason we don't want to. And I'm going to get into this right here. Um, for the wolf, the devotional tasks are visit the wolf's hometown, find a legendary sword, axe or club, successfully hunt a deer, defeat 200 enemies, defeat a uh, relic guardian. So you'll see these are these are all things that we can achieve for the god. But here's the 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 unfortunate part. Um, I don't know, it's taboos, cowardice. We cannot flee battle if we devote ourselves to the wolf. Now that doesn't sound bad necessarily, but I don't know how much leniency there is there. And it might be that there is no leniency, but no leniency is, uh, it, it's, it's a, you know, you, you have to be careful about this choice anyway. Um, then there's the Harlequin whose boon or um, taboo is barbarity using an ax, sword, club, mace, or scythe. That's basically every single melee weapon. So, you know, that's, a, that's pretty severe. Uh, Lords of Dust, uh, taboo is medicine. Can't use potions or ointments, right? Uh, Our Lady of the Sanguine Moon, boon is witchcraft. Drawing blood feeds you and potion brewing costs are halved. Oh, that's the boon, sorry. Taboo is eating food. You can't eat food. You can only recover from, from getting blood. Um, the Blind Angels, uh, taboo is injustice. Striking allies or the unwary. The striking allies doesn't bother me. It's the unwary that I don't, uh, is why I, I'm not committed to the blind angels because basically what they're saying is you cannot strike anyone who's like asleep. And that is such a good opportunity, uh, just in general that I, I can't really commit to that. But let me see what we can spend our devotional point to. Reduce yourself to near death, but become utterly invulnerable for a period in the process. Not a huge fan of that. Not going to spend our point on that. Um, but the thing is, is if we don't, then we don't get the strength offered by the wolf. So I'm going to buy it just because it means that we get plus uh, a plus to our strength. So we've added it to our wolf. And now we can see if we go to our character sheet that our strength is plus five. So that... You know, we, we, we're, we're going to do a lot more damage now. Um, certainly for melee anyway. I don't think we can buy... We could buy like a club. Um, what are the strength requirements? Oh, these are finesse requirements. So uh, if I wanted to get like a, a cutlass, it would do a lot more damage. But it would also reduce our... I forget what this means, but basically move speed. I don't know if we're going to be able to buy anything, to be honest. Asteria root replenishes energy when chewed. Um, Sarah leaf oil. Truth is quite revert. Uh, for centuries, Sarah bushes were believed unable to grow near mushrooms. I don't know what this does, so I'm going to go ahead and sell this. We'll get more. We I, I really want a better weapon right now. Um... Offer the negative. Okay, we're going to go ahead and sell this as well. I want to try and get enough to buy a weapon. We'll go ahead and sell the Staria Root. Maybe Amber Bane Ward. Um, we do want this, but we can, we do come by it um, quite often. And I guess I'll sell our scraps of fur. Like, all of this stuff is, uh, you know, we, we can get more of it. But I really want to get a better weapon. Strength required, so I, I kind of like the cutlass, so we'll get the cutlass. And we can uh, sell the weapon that we were currently using, which was the dagger. This cutlass is going to be doing a lot more damage. And uh, I'll keep the dagger for now. There, I do think that there is in um, durability, but I'm not super sure on that one. 
But now we're just gonna go and like venture out in the world. Let's see what this is. West Moon upon Thos, um, which is where we just came from. Southeast is Herodus. North is Yarrow. Um, we could just like go and fight some bandits. Ooh, I accidentally moved there and I didn't really want to. So we can um, move away for a bit just to recover our poise for a second. Oh yeah, we're doing some pretty good damage. Oh, that guy's running for the hills. Okay. Well, let's me know that the area is clear. We'll get some arrows. At a certain point, I do want to get a, um, a bow. What do we got here? Herb here. We'll, uh, we'll collect a herb here, whatever. Where is the herb? Where? There it is. Bitter nectar. Um, so this mist to our east there is, um, it's pretty nasty stuff. If we spend long enough in it, then we will go insane. And insanity is no picnic, I'll tell you what. We'll go and do some hunting, because we're going to need food. Um, food does go bad in this game. You, um, you're going to have to, like, constantly kind of resupply it. It's not, like, super punishing, but, um... It is something we'll have to be mindful of. We could check out this uh, mountain dungeon here. This seems like something we could we could handle, maybe. The nice thing is, like, you know, uh, if we... We should be in quiet mode. If we can't handle it, like, it's pretty obvious when things are going badly. And, you know, if we die, it's not a big deal. Um, and I, I really appreciate that, to be honest. Uh, it, gets a, it gets to be a little bit exhausting when like death is like the the very end i want that oh we got another rosetta oh that's nice um that's gonna help us um potentially oh well they got they got the better end of that one oof ow okay you know what it's time to use a healing potion i guess we could should have like used um some kindling and and uh rested We'll drink a healing potion. That's going to recover us fully. I'll sneak. I just want to make sure we're not on fire anymore. There's some rocks in that fire, but I really don't want to, like, needlessly take damage. These guys hit pretty hard. I'm not a huge fan of, of them. But they don't hit nearly as hard as some other creatures that I've seen. And also, we're hitting pretty hard as well. Also, these are our first creatures that can also sneak. That guy's taking some damage. I like that the environmentals can hurt other creatures. Oh, that... Also, I'm learning something from... Oh, that fire does, like, pure damage. It goes straight through our poise. I'm learning that environmentals can do some... Uh, Can, can create some, some noise. Ow. I don't know if they, if they go through the poise, if maybe they do pure damage to us. Okay, this is not good. Yeah, that's death. Kill by, killed by the warlord. If at first you don't succeed, die, die again. So we will load our save, which is basically at the beginning of that mountain. Um, and maybe maybe what I should do is actually uh, get some kindling going. Well, there's tons of things we can um, hunt here. Is that badger, it, it, it fleed, okay. So let's see uh, if we can get a campfire going. Can we use the, uh, the kindling? Doesn't seem to let us. Melee, range, armor, food. Alchemy, devices, tools. This is actually good to know. Ah, camp kit. So let's go ahead and use this. You require 10 kindling to complete this. You have six. Reduced by zero due to wolf devotion. Do I, apparently I have wolf devotion. Oh, I see. Reduced by zero, meaning if I had wolf devotion, then it would reduce it some. Um, okay, good to know we need more kindling. 
All right, well, instead of uh, going to that dungeon, it seems like the the madness uh, fog over here is is loosening. This guy's actually insane. That little uh, symbol above them meant that they they're like not in control of their own faculties uh and you could even see them they were like running around I, I really do appreciate in this game how like environmentals affect everything and i was gonna make a comment actually in the in the dungeon um that something that was really cool about it um was that uh you could actually see when enemies when one of the enemies would walk over those chains that it would create noise and that uh, that leads to us being able to see them better and it also tells us like what's lurking around the corner so you can, you know this game um draws a lot of uh attention to to things like environmentals uh sound uh how you how you like interact with the world like really it really matters in terms of like how uh, safe you are I don't like that the fog is making its way over here. Let's see if we can't escape it. Why is it going down? Oh god, it's going down. We can't. It's literally chasing me. Good god. Okay, I might need to use a potion, hoping that... Ow. Oh, God. Ah, I was really hoping I could get through that without using a potion. God damn it. Well, luckily there was an autosave recently. But still, I'm going to have to repeat. Wow, that guy just shot his friend. He just got over his madness, but not in time. I do think that uh, if I travel on the road that I travel faster which is one of the reasons I'm traveling on the road but if you travel in the wilderness you have a higher chance of finding goodies like I can see that you know there's yeah I mean there's a deer uh, obviously we would like to catch the deer wow these guys are hitting me really hard get out of here um, deer is having some kind of issue. I would like to... Oh, I have no ammunition. Okay. We're just going to go ahead... Wow. Wow, that was a violent death. Good lord. We're just going to hit some hedgehogs and get some meat. I would really like to get some kindling. But it doesn't look like that's going to be the case here. Um, being mindful of that fog, because apparently, uh, huh. The fog kind of rotates around the map a little bit and we do not want to be in that we don't go insane right away by the way that's one of the reasons we collect that uh amber oil is the amber oil actually staves against madness prey disappeared oh there's a wolf over there don't necessarily well it looks like they're tracking me down Ooh, there's a ruin over there we could check that out of course, now it's shrouded. Well, there we go. There it is. What the heck is that? Can we look at it? I don't know. I don't know how to... Oh, God. Okay. Well, we're going to die here. Probably for sure. Moldy hedgehog meat or hedgehog meat is uh, not okay. Yeah, this is uh, really not good. Wow, those guys absolutely destroyed me. Maybe I'm making a mistake by going over here because it seems a little bit too rough right now. I'm very grateful that I don't have to start the game over. I can I can learn these mistakes without having to uh, start from scratch. All right, let's just grab a couple of things and roam back over. And um, maybe... Maybe I'll just head back into the town for the time being. I did equip the cutlass, right? Yeah, I'm just like, I really am just like, not okay. <laughs> um, I wonder if there's a, yeah, we could, we could probably stay in, um, an inn. This is a grocer. 
They'll sell meat to us. I'm wondering if I can find an inn that would let us recover our health. Can I just like stay in this bed? Sleep sneakily. You risk committing a crime. That's pretty funny, actually. I could sneak asleep sneakily. <laughs> All right. Do you have an inn? Town opinion for 10 guineas. Your standing here is zero. Okay. Well, I really just want to sleep somewhere. Let's, uh, let's see here. No, that's locked. Ah, there we go. That's a bed. There's no way that this isn't it. Yeah, rest for a hundred. That's a really expensive rest, but we'll do it just to get our health back. And I, I think what I'll do actually is I'm going to leave. I appreciate that I can leave from anywhere, by the way. I don't, I don't have to like get to the edge of the screen. Um, I'm going to go back to my home. Um, Yarrow. And um, I'd like to check out the... Oh, we want that. That's kindling. I'd like to take another crack at the graveyard. To see if we can't uh, make some more progress and maybe even defeat that shiny bug. That is doing me a, a, hill, a, a kill. Okay, this is done with. More bugs. These are confused bugs. Which is good for us. Because they don't really... Um, they can't really willing, willingly kill us. And we can kill them for some chitin. We want some more kindling. I appreciate those, like, really old sound effect vibes. Really reminds me of, like, Joust was one of my favorite game for sound effects. Ooh, these guys are fighting. I wonder if I, if I help this guy, if, uh, he'll help me. The trader hands you 283 guineas for your help. Your standing with Moon Upon Thoth is improved. Oh, nice. Appreciate that. I thought this guy, this guy looks like a... Skeleton almost. I thought maybe he was a baddie. Um, north is Heart Haven, west is Red Grove. And apparently, we have a ruin here. I don't think I have enough um, kindling to make a campfire, but that's okay. We're at full health right now. Oh god, the amber. Okay, there are at least like pockets here where I don't have to roam in the in the amber. Ooh, what are you? You do 108 damage in one hit, and I've just trapped myself. Oh god. Okay, what about safety? Oh, that's friendly fire. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're we're gonna die here for sure. I keep saying that, don't I? I keep ending up in situations where I'm saying that. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to fight this guy, but he he he's tearing me up real good. Used up all my potions. Oh, I actually was like one hit away from killing him. Good God. Okay, I don't really want to hang around. The amber stuff is like a real pain in the butt. Okay, let's, um, can we wait for it to pass? It seems to do like a rotation. I don't think I want, I don't think I want to go to this ruin. I want this berry though. I know I'm not trying very hard to like play optimally, but also like some of these things can kill it, kill me in like two turns. So, you know, how optimal can we be? Wow, there's a lot of stuff here to kill. I was just here and this place was not nearly as active. Badger has left. I still don't have the berries. I just want the berries. I keep coming here to find the berries and they keep not being here. There we go. Pretty sure that's it. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Yarrow. Ah, 
Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. We're fine. We are running out of food. That is to say we're getting kind of hungry. Oh god, the 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 amber clank. Okay, so we've got more metal creatures here. The metal creatures I can take care of. I can I can handle the metal creatures. Can we like eat this hedgehog meat? You eat the hedgehog. Okay, so I'm eating the hedgehog meat. That's recovering our health. Um moldy berries, that sucks. We'll have to drop well, we gotta we gotta start eating this like when I grab it. All right, cool. Yeah, these guys are. I can totally handle these guys. And we're getting some like ancient scrap metal for our trouble. Come out here and recover, and come back in here. That door is locked. We still don't have a means to open that. What is that? Unknown device. So I have tons of uh, Rosetta stones. So I should be able to um, figure out what those are. So this this place is now done. You'd think that there'd be some kind of door to, uh, or like button anywhere to open up some of those doors. I do wonder if uh, the, tr the dungeon generation is flawless in this game. Like, I wonder if maybe you can generate dungeons that are not fully explorable. Um, not an accusation, just, just wondering, honestly. And it wouldn't really matter either way. Okay, so, ooh, herb. I mean, I'm collecting herbs where I can. Um, once I figure out alchemy, I would really like to explore that. Being able to make potions would be really, really nice. Because, like, you know, recovery is a big deal. I mean, I almost took out that nasty freaking death knight just from being able to use, like, all of my potions. Ugh, I wish that, um, I guess I, I need to work on my stealth a little bit. Nice. I didn't get my poise broken there, so I didn't take any damage. Found some berries. Those will go and find them and eat them. Eat them berries. Let's eat them berries. Yummy. Berries eaten. Okay, we are making our way to Yarrow still. It's a long journey. Uh, it's quite a long journey from Yarrow to uh, the moss town. I, I'm not going to remember the looks to the moss. I don't know. <laughs> it's got a funny name. Ooh. That looks like a nasty. I don't know if I necessarily want to fight that. Ooh, what is this? Whir. We got clank, clank, and whir. Okay, so we've got more of these kind of, um... Oh, smashed? Open the door, huh? Ow. Oh, they really seem to... Oh, this is, this is rough. I won't lie. Ah, uh, yeah. Here's the, here's the kind of real-time component you'll, you'll notice. Is like, if I'm far enough away, projectiles actually take a moment to get to me. I wish that is, uh, projectiles hit the other creatures. That'd be really, really good but you can't have everything. And honestly, the amount of forgiveness I have with combat right now is pretty good. I'm taking some pretty nasty damage. Trying to get around them. It seems, and I didn't realize this last time. Ooh, ooh. Damn it. Damn it. Ugh. I didn't realize that getting them out in the open like that is actually really good. I don't, these guys weren't here before. 
um because then like the more the, cl the closer you are rotating around them the uh the more advantageous because they can't turn very they they can't turn very quickly but they can keep up with you if you're far enough away so you want to get close to them these guys are a real problem because they're fast and so they can actually keep up with you and keep like attacking you even while you're moving whereas these guys are slow and give me a chance to like build up my poise again I notice these guys uh, resist bleeding, so apparently that's something I do now with my cutlass. These are these are things I'm learning. I'm not sure what their deal is. It seems like sometimes they get a double movement. I think they are just faster than me. I'm learning things. I'm learning things and I'm like trying to take it all in. Unknown device. I do want to collect this ancient metal. I think it will be useful eventually. You might have noticed that this ruin was different now. So indeed, like dying in a ruin means you're going to like, it's going to regenerate slightly. It's going to be a bit different. Things about it will remain the same. It really, it does feel like uh, Caves of Code roleplay mode. Where, you know, like the... I think it's accidental in Caves of Code because like... It, it's because uh, it's not perfect in how it generates things based on its seed uh, Whereas in this game, I feel like it's almost intentional where like uh, a ruin is Intentionally different the next the, you know the second time you attempt it. Please. Please don't escape. Okay, cool We're gonna go ahead and eat that Badger meat um, We are at 100 Apparently we have generated some torpid. I'm not sure how that happened. Might have been that we, uh... Ooh, that guy looks different. We might have roamed around in the, um... The weird gas a bit too long. I feel like I have stumbled into, uh, the incorrect area. I don't think that this is actually where I want to be. Pray here. Oh. I I am really not a fan of any of this. You are insane. Okay, wow. I I think I've I've wandered into the wrong area just completely. Do I have to do this again? God damn it. Well, I'm grateful that I don't have to start all the way from the beginning, but even having to redo some of these dungeons is a little rough. Okay, just waiting for my poise to come back. Uh, I don't want to fight this guy unless I have the advantage. So now that they're out in the open, I'm gonna go ahead and approach them. How did they hit me? God. You really do, it's cause like an attack is longer than moving. So when I attack them, they, they kind of get the equivalent of like two moves. So I got to make sure I'm only hitting them from behind if I want to take no damage from them. Attacking them while also fighting something else is going to be interesting. Okay, that was pretty good, actually. I didn't even uh, get my poise broken. Also, I keep collecting this unknown device and not like trying to figure it out. So why don't we do that real quick? I'm going to go ahead and Rosetta machine fragment faceted stone a strange rod hmm interesting let's do a strange rod wand of webbing interesting can we equip that i feel like okay if i if i press like one on that yeah you can uh quick bind things that's quite nice 
Um, I guess I don't have another Rosetta Stone that was in a different timeline. Um, what we can do is... Well, that's pretty much all we can do right now. Okay, um, I gotta figure out the actual way to get home. Maybe if I put the berries on the quick bar, then I can eat them when I need to. Okay, um... Trying to... Oh, help. They're being... They're being fought by bandits. If they die, uh, maybe I can take their stuff. But we got a lot of money for helping them. Moon upon Thos is improved. You know what? Let's not, um, dally. What? I didn't... No, stop it. I'm trying to help you. They're struck with the madness. That's why they're, uh... They're fighting me. Um... Let's go back to Moon Upon Thos and set a checkpoint, and then we'll end the episode there. We'll sell some stuff and uh, recover our health. We've made quite a bit of money from helping NPCs. Okay, what does it say? North is Heart, Heart Haven. West is the Red Grove. Well, where is... Uh... Oh, Moon Upon Thos is south. We do not want to be attacked by multiple things at once. I just said we... Wow, that was a lot of damage from one bug. Good lord. I really need to be using stealth more often. It helps so much if you, like, actually use it properly. Remember, you don't really get experience in this game, so killing things and taking damage is, is like... You're not really winning, you know? There's no, there's no, uh, winners in war. Alright, we're gonna save, set a checkpoint, and, um, going to... What do we want to do? We want to sell some stuff. Uh, I'd like to buy some armor. I think that that should be a priority. So let's go ahead and sell all of our chitin. Or kitten. Ki chitin. Where is our chitin? Oh, 16 chitin. Okay. 112. I mean, that's something. We only almost have enough kindling to actually make a campfire. Hogberry, huh? Medicinal herb for use in brewing potions. Bone nectar, scraps of fur. Let's sell all that. We have a thousand gold. We should be able to buy some armor. Let's see what we can do. Leggings. What do we have currently? I think that, that, we, that we have leggings. And that's why we're not gaining anything or losing anything. Wax cloak would only be a downgrade. Maybe. Hat would give us extra stun. Kite shield might be good. That gives us block, but also reduces our chance to dodge and also our stealth. But it also requires a lot of endurance that we don't have. Leather helmet would increase our physical and stun defense um, and slightly decrease our speed. Um, I kind of like the nose guard helmet that would re increase our physical and stun defense by a bit. And I think I'm okay with losing that little bit of speed. So we'll buy that. What about the round shield? Could we use that? Uh, that would increase our block chance. Slightly reduce our dodge, but that's just going to happen. I'm pretty sure there's no way for us to kind of get through this without eventually sacrificing block. Or, uh, or dodge. It's kind of like you have to double down on either DV or AV in uh, Caves of Cud. Alright, so let's go ahead and equip our round shield. Oh, can we not use... Oh, we can use the round shield. Okay, and then we'll switch to the nose guard helmet. And we'll sell the cap, I think. And yeah, um, equipment actually like is visually represented on your character in this game, which I really appreciate. 
hedgehog meat can we sell oh there, there's our cap we'll sell this and we'll sell our dagger yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and double down on that and how much money you have we have enough money to uh rest so we'll go ahead and do that and that means our progress is like basically made canon now i would really like to get a bow but uh, that'll have to be next time. If you're enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll uh, make efforts to get to Yarrow in the next episode, and we'll see how this goes. Um, take it easy. See you next time.